nation there. Covenant of grace nations equal Gentiles descendants from the sixth day creation were the non-white people of the world. Then after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ's ascension to the throne in addition, establishment of the rule from heavens, paradise, Jesus Christ begins to administer the second dispensation of the covenant of grace through indwelling and infilling and empowerment of the Holy Spirit. I believe Kaiser Jesus Christ Archbishop opened the gospel to the whole world, and the barrier between Anglo-Saxon Israel, the white peoples and the Gentiles, the nations the non-white peoples, has been removed and Jesus Christ bridged the gap and made the two one people. Under the new dispensation of the covenant of grace nations and the descendants of Esau, Hagar, and the non-white peoples and the house of Israel scattered abroad are the Gentiles. I believe and confess Israel under the old dispensation of the covenant of grace was the house of Israel and the house of Judah the elect united as one, the church in the old whom believed in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Then it split into two houses, Israel under the new dispensation of the covenant of grace is the house of Israel and the house and Judah and Gentiles who believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is the elect the church under the new the redeemed of humankind. Under the Old Testament, Israel grew from twelve sons to twelve tribes to a theocratic government to a monarch to an empire. Then it split in two. It became the northern kingdom of Israel, ten and half tribes were assigned to it. In addition, two and a half of the tribes were assigned to the southern kingdom of Judah. Then they were destroyed and the kingdoms collapsed, and all of them went into captivity. The northern kingdom collapsed first and went into Assyrian captivity two hundred years before the southern kingdom went into captivity. After the house of Israel's captivity they ascendant over the Caucasus mountains migrated, settled, established Europe, Great Britain, Canada, Alaska and America, and that is where they are today whom were later called Caucasian. Then the southern kingdom collapsed with the last king of Judah Zedekiah, Jeremiah escaped with the daughters of Zedekiah to Egypt one of the daughters name was Scotia, who married and out of that ancestry came Scotland, the European monarchs and they mix with the house of Israel. The house of Judah went into Babylonian captivity for seventy years, then returned to the Holy Land rebuild the temple and were there until the destruction of the temple and Jerusalem in seventy and then they were scattered throughout the world. God said to the twelve tribes if you obey me, you shall be blessed if you do not I shall scatter you throughout the whole world. The tribes shall be scattered and regathered back to God into a new heavens and new earth where holiness and righteousness dwells. In addition, sin and death shall not and flesh shall now. In the first century, the kingdom of God was established and at the close of the millennium, the kingdom of Israel shall be fully established made up with the house of Israel, Judah and the Gentiles united forever as one peoples for the whole of eternity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray through the power of the Holy Spirit. Dear Heavenly Father I confess, trust and believe, there are three world ages three heaven ages, the world that was, the world that is, the world that is to come, three dispensations of covenant of grace. The Trinity has, is and shall administrate all. Three dispensations of the covenant of grace, in Jesus Christ namely pray through the power of the Holy Spirit. Dear the God teach me what all this mean, in the Lord Jesus Christ name. I believe and confess there shall be periods of progression for the church and periods of recession for the church. Unfortunately, we shall lose some souls to death, Hades and hell. 
At the end of the millennium there shall be more saved, than lost. The church shall rise like a loaf of bread, and the yeast shall work itself all the way through the bread. In the Lord Jesus Christ name we pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. I confess, believe and trust, this is historically correct and all the sciences confirms it, and the light of creation confirms it the moral law. Civil law confirms it and special revelation confirms it. Predicted prophecy and the fulfillment of predictive prophecy confirms it, the rational, the logical, observation, deduction, induction, deduced truth confirms it, and lastly it can be well documented. Let it be so and you confirm it in the Lord Jesus Christ name I pray, through the power of the Holy Ghost, grant me wisdom, knowledge and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I pray and ask Almighty God in the Lord Jesus Christ name through the power Holy Spirit Amen. Long live Arch Kaiser Jesus Christ of the world and lastly long live Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany King of Prussia.